the problem in the past has been that all the great empires have greedily hung on to their power and, and, and uh, prosperity, causing great suffering for people in the colonies and in the mother country. What if we could see the writing on the wall and do this whole decline and fall thing with more ease and grace and consciousness? I have a plan. Very simple. Kind of channeled itself through me. We simply go to the United Nations and announce to the world that we would like to resign as a superpower. We see what's happening. From now on, we'd like to be known as just an ordinary nation. The whole world would applaud. It would be great for us. We could relax. We wouldn't have to work so hard keeping a superpower economy going. You know, we wouldn't necessarily be the prime target of terrorists anymore. We could let down some of our defenses. We wouldn't have to spend a half a trillion dollars a year on our military, which, by the way, is more than all the other military budgets in the world combined. You know, there's really nothing to fear about losing our superpower status. Remember, Rome also didn't decline in a day. And while it was declining, a lot of Roman citizens probably didn't even notice it was happening. And a few centuries later, they started calling themselves Italians. They're doing fine today. <laughs> Besides, ours would be the world's first intentional decline. <laughs> so to help us ease our transition, the government could start some public works projects, like the Roosevelt New Deal, only this would be the New Age New Deal. <laughs> I envision a five-year plan called the Great Leap Backward. <laughs> so the government would, would start a department of meditation and therapy, which would set up deprogramming centers around the country and teach hyperactive American workers how to be less productive members of a less productive society. <laughs> the, government, yeah, the government could pay people by the hour to work on themselves. <laughs> we could all work with the mantra, enough. Enough. We've got enough stuff. Enough. Enough. Yeah. I, it works. Construction workers could be put back to work on disassembly lines. Take apart the cars, separate the steel back into ores, and shovel it all into the ground again. The Army Corps of Engineers take apart the dams, let the rivers run free, under the slogan, making the world safe for nature. Forget about democracy, nature. Maybe we could ask Egypt, Mexico, Egypt, Mexico, India, start a reverse Peace Corps. Send us volunteers to teach us how to live more simply. Teach us how to cook tasty meals of rice and beans. How to wash our clothes on rocks. And most important, when and how to take the siesta. <laughs> And as we make our transition, in order to keep our currency afloat, what we do better than anybody else on this planet is entertain. The whole world loves US entertainment. So as we announce that we are resigning as a superpower, we simultaneously invite the rest of the world to come and witness this historic moment, the world's first intentional decline and fall. <laughs> we open up the entire company, uh, country, company. <laughs> The entire country has one vast theme park <laughs> called Formerly Great America. 